So we will be staying warm and dry the next several days. However, we are tracking a big storm system that's going to come into our forecast next week, and that brings us to our six to 10 day precipitation outlook. So the end of the month to the beginning of November, we are in the green, which means it's looking like we will be likely wetter than normal for that time period on average. That means storm system bringing precipitation as far as snow and rain. So we'll talk about that in just a second, but out the door for the day today into tomorrow and really Friday, some quiet conditions, a lot of sunshine, high temperatures heading around 10 to 15 degrees above average this afternoon, 75 degrees at the airport today, 73 in degree in Fort Collins, the high country around 20 to 25 degrees above average as high temperatures there head into the low to mid sixties. You take a look at Adams County neighborhoods today, 77 in Aurora. So a little warmer there, bright and about 75. Lots of our other Adams County neighborhoods getting to around 75 today. Down into Douglas County, 73 for Castle Pines, otherwise 77 into Highlands Ranch, Stonegate 75. It's been the high pressure trend. It's been the month of high pressure and we'll continue to see that the next couple of days, but a weak cold front comes in Thursday. That's going to increase our wind speeds Thursday into Friday, and we'll talk about just a slight cool down into the day on Friday, but still sunny and dry. Our attention then turns to a big area of low pressure, a deep trough that's going to come in early next week, Monday night into Tuesday, bringing us a cold snap of weather and also looking at the potential to see some high country snow and some rain into the the Denver area, but if our temperatures drop cool enough, that could mean some snow down into the Denver area. We are still a ways out on this, so we'll of course continue to track it, but want to show you what that looks like on your Super 7 day. So for Wednesday, 75 degrees. By Thursday, as I mentioned, the wind speed's increasing. Take a look at what happens to your winds on Thursday afternoon. We're talking 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts at times through the day tomorrow, all ahead of that cold front. Friday, 67. Our average high temperature this time of year is 62, so we'll be closer to average, still warmer than normal, but a little bit closer. Into the Denver area, those temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. The high country will remain in the 60s for Friday. We're back into the 70s Saturday and into Sunday, and by Monday, we see that storm system come through. Monday into Tuesday, we slide into the upper 50s, low 60s. By Wednesday, we see the potential to drop into the 40s. So I want to show you what that looks like on Futurecast. This is Monday, quiet and clear, maybe a few flakes up into the high country late Monday. By Monday night into Tuesday, we start to track that potential for precipitation. This is a rain, this is a rain-snow mix, and this is some snow. Watch what happens Tuesday night into Wednesday. Again, this is as of now, so these, this could change. But Tuesday night into Wednesday, we could watch that rain transition into some snow. So we could see a few flakes into the Denver area by Wednesday morning. And as of now, it looks like this is clearing up for us heading into the day on Thursday. So Halloween likely at this point to be dry. So we will, of course, watch this as it does get closer. But it's definitely looking like, if nothing else, we're going to see much cooler weather. So enjoy the sunshine and the 70s because heading into next week, we're going from above average where we are now to well below average by next week.